It's 7 a.m. And you're watching Fox 31's Good Day Colorado. All right, no gossiping at Sturgis about bikers and their yellow motorcycles. We're also talking about no gossiping in the workplace. And for that, Mike, we're going to send it on over to you. There's no workplace drama around here. We're no pretty, drama. We're no drama. Going. No, really? no, never, never. Is, is it closed? Yeah. Is everybody <laughs> gone from here? Uh, all right. We don't well, talk to each other if there's no gossip. That's a good point. True. All right. Uh, hey, are you involved in workplace drama when you go to work every morning? Take, maybe take part in the office drama. Uh, it's sure to do one thing and that is hold back your work and your career possibly. So what do you do? Career coach Rhonda Shortino joins us live in studio this morning with a little bit of advice. You got a book that just came out from foster care to millionaire. And uh, so this is on uh, the bookshelves right now in the store. So tell me about it. that's kind of your story starting out in foster care. How do you take that, I guess your story and bring it to the workplace and setting yourself apart? Well, thank you, Mike. I have been on my own since I was 16 years old. I've worked in some really challenging work environments, started my own company in my 20s. So I've been an employee and an employer for the right, past 20 years. Ends. And I learned how to create job security. And so there are a lot of people struggling right now in their finances and their jobs and their relationships. So I wrote the book and I'm here this morning to try to help people. Well, yeah. And, and part of the thing is, as you talk about, is setting yourself apart. So not only you keep that job or, or get the job, Job, but then keep it as well. So you got five kind of talking points in here. Let's go through some of those. Okay. First is adopt a zero tolerance policy for drama. Don't engage in gossip. Don't bring your personal stuff to the workplace. Don't sit and listen to other people, you know, dump their personal stuff on you. And that's and, hard because a lot of people, that is a big part of work. It is. It is. But one of the things I tell people is don't go to work expecting a social life or a social worker, somebody to, you know, listen to you or pat you on the back. What we need to do is expect two things from an employer, an opportunity and an earned paycheck. And so you never know. This is a day of social networking. Sure. So you never know when something you think you're sharing in confidence uh, is going to wind up on Facebook tonight. No, and we've, we've seen a lot of that, too, where people have been fired or terminated as a result of what they posted on Facebook or other social networking right, sites. Right, right, absolutely. So we want to rise above it. We want to set ourselves apart in the workplace. And, and one of the ways that you do that is you avoid the gossip. You just don't take sides. You never know where your next opportunity is going to come from. So it could be a, a co-worker that leaves and goes to a company that's also hiring, a customer, a vendor. A lot of people are watching, and if we set ourselves apart in the workplace, we'll create opportunities for ourselves. Another way to do it, a really important issue, is to learn everything you can learn about the employer, their products, their services, the industry. We can do this now easier than ever before because of the internet. So I encourage people, instead of spending time watching TV, although that's bad to say probably right, on right. a TV, show, <laughs> but on your own time, to take a little bit of time, set up a Google alert. And so that every time your employer's mentioned in the media, you know about it. If you're the most knowledgeable person in the workplace, you're going to create yeah. opportunities Last for thing, yourself. we got like 10, 15 seconds here, but the, one of the last things you have here is no whining. Always stay positive in attitude and about people, which is very, when you think about the economic climate we're in right now, and it's difficult. A lot of people worried if they're going to lose their jobs. That's it's a hard thing to do not to whine and gripe about some stuff. It's very difficult to do, but it can be done. Even if it's the most pressure-packed work environment and you're the most stressed out person, if you have to put on an Academy Award winning <laughs> performance for the most cheerful, the most encouraging, the most kind and patient person, do it. I have lots more tips in my yeah. book from Foster Care to Millionaire and on the website. And I would love to hear from people. And, and All right. Rhonda, thank you so much. Rhonda Shortino live with us this morning. The book from Foster Care to Millionaire. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you coming in today. Thank you, Mike. Great I stuff. Appreciate your Great time. stuff.